Hey guys, we're gonna do a unboxing of the Galaxy S10. This is the Exynos, the rootable model, SMG 973F slash DS in the green color. Let's go and take a look. Hi guys, so I ordered this on eBay. Um, there is a seller, I think MSR, um, no MSRP. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. Um, if you wanna get a Galaxy S10, that is rootable or S10 plus or the S10e, um, you will want to get the Exynos model, the international model. That's the reason why I got this, so I could root it. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. And you can see I have the original Galaxy wrapper and also two wraps, so this has not been opened. This is a 128 gigabyte model. And the difference between this one, it actually gives you free SD card. I'm actually not sure what that's about, so maybe free SD card. Let's go ahead and take a look. Boom shock all around, baby. Um, so this is the green model. It is prism green. You can see it's not like green, like Android green. Depending on the angle you look at, it's almost blue or green. Yeah, so it's almost like a blue greenish color, but I really like it. We really like the colors. So I don't know why there is a little spot here. I don't know what that's for, but let me go ahead and unwrap it for you. And this is supposed to be a screen protector that comes with it. I obviously took it off with the Galaxy S10 Plus unboxing. I'll just leave this on, so I'll have some protection here. That's really nice. And yeah, don't forget, there's actually plastic wraps you're supposed to unwrap on the sides. A lot of people just use the phone for a whole year without taking them off. Of course, if you're paranoid about scratching, you could just leave them on. But I like to just take it out. And very, very beautiful phone looking phone here. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a case on it, because if I drop this, it's gonna cost me 300 bucks to replace the screen. All right. So you can see there's three cameras, uh, main, telephoto, and wide angle. I'm actually not sure which order it goes. And you got the sensors there. Yeah, very clean looking back. Now, I don't know if you checked out the LG G8 and the LG V50. I do have the LG G8 coming in the mail soon. And the hump with the G8, you don't get the hump. But from talking to the LG engineers, the reason why there is actually a hump here is because there's actually a pressure hole for, for waterproofing. You actually need a hole uh, for the air pressure to go out. So that's what he was telling me about the hump design with the new LG G8. Um, they got rid of the hump and they put the hole on the side. Anyway, beautiful looking phone. For headphone jack lovers, you'll get the headphone jack. Yeah, not too much has changed since last year other than some of the positions of the volume buttons, um, the SD card, the microphone positions. One thing I noticed that's sort of hard to use is a power button. They've moved it up on all the Galaxy S10, S10 Plus. And I feel like it's one hand that uses really hard on the 10 plus. Um, the S10 is a lot smaller phone, so I can reach it easily. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the rest of the box. Okay, guys, so the free SD card, you get a free, you get a 328 gigabyte class three card, which should be plenty enough for taking photos um, using it as extra storage. So that's really nice that it comes with it. This is the Exynos model, by the way. So I guess a lot of the Exynos models do come with a free SD card. You don't need the fastest card, so this will work just fine. Let me just go ahead and put it in the phone real quick. All right, SIM card tray. I really like that Samsung has kept the micro SD over the years. I remember that one year they took it out and then everybody complained and ever since then, um, they brought it back, All right? Unless you actually need faster UFS storage for the larger storage, maybe you're using your phone as storage, you absolutely don't need to pay extra for the higher storage. Buying an SD card is my recommended option. Unless you play a ton of games that take up a ton of storage, or you have a reason. Anyway, let's go take a look at what's in the rest of the box. Uh, obviously, AKG headphones, very nice headphones. Very nice set of earbuds, uh, rope type. I'm not gonna take it out since I took it out for the S10e. Of course, my Qualcomm version ship with also Galaxy Buds, which actually kind of like it now. But these are excellent earbuds, probably one of the better earbuds you'll find that come with your smartphone, so very nice. I think LG actually had these um, very similar AKG headphones they used to ship with, the LG G6, yeah. There is also um, USB Type-C cables. 
All right, the usual suspects. We've got the uh, USB OTG. You can connect your mouse, keyboard, USB flash drive. Android OS supports a ton of USB. Uh, maybe I'll have a video on it, but you could literally connect all of your USB peripherals that you normally use on PC or other gadgets and make it work with Android. So that's awesome. You can even connect it to something like, uh, like a T5. Oh yeah, you can. This is a great way to uh, store stuff, transfer stuff. Just connect it to the OTG. Boom chakalaka. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the charger. Charger has not changed. It is uh, nine volts, 1.68 amps, or five volts, two amps. So Samsung has not changed their quick charge specs for a long, long time now. It's not a bad thing. It's still plenty fast. We're at what, quick charge 4.0? They're still on quick charge 2.0? Why? But yeah, it, it doesn't really bother me. But but anyway, that's all it's in the box plus manuals and some stuff over here. Oh, wow. It actually comes with a free case, a uh, free hard case. That's that's kind of cool. I'll probably not use this because it's not very good protection. It's going to only protect the back. You see, there's no lip. If you drop this, you're going to still break your screen. So yeah, we got the eject pin. That's what Samsung's calling it now. All right, that's pretty much all in the box. Pretty interesting. So the Galaxy S10, the only real difference in camera versus my Galaxy S10 Plus, which I've got here, is that the front camera, you're missing the extra depth camera. While the 10 Plus uh, has two cameras. Now, the extra camera on the 10 Plus wasn't really worth it, in my opinion. It does give you depth. It does help out for portrait mode shots, but you're not getting an extra wide angle like LG phones. So in terms of that, I would still say the LG V40 is a true um, multi-camera phone, especially it's got wide angle on the front and back. I'll have a comparison, but I feel like the telephoto and the wide angle is actually still better on the LG V40. So you could see the one I got is actually a Spain model, Spanish, Espanol. Como estas, cabrón? Uh, muy, muy chinga bien. So let's go ahead and change that to English. Since I can't speak uh, Spanish, only poquito, cabrón. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been watching a lot of Telemundo. My favorite uh, show is actually um, El Senor de Los Cielos. I don't know if you guys watch that, but yeah, learning my Spanish there. So I don't actually know if the screen protector that ships with the phone works with the fingerprint sensor. Um, so let's actually go ahead and try that out real quick. And the fingerprint sensor on my Galaxy S10 Plus, it's been a really horrible experience. Honestly, I tried everything that was on YouTube. <laughs> I tried registering five fingerprints, whatever. It's still too damn slow. One of the things that's worse about having an in-finger display sensor is that every time you press it, you're leaving a smudge, especially after you eat something greasy and you forgot to wash your hands. <sighs> That stuff gets all over your phone. And you know, I think it's just cleaner to have it in the back. It's a great gimmicky little feature, but I still prefer in the back and it's much faster. It really helps in getting all that germs on the back, not on the front. Okay, let's go ahead and scan our fingerprint. So with this screen protector, I do have to press a lot harder. I actually have to press it real hard. But let me go ahead and take this out, it's sort of, crappy it's because the fingerprint sen sensor is already slow but with the screen protector it's gonna be really really annoying oh my god it's still not not that great okay it's a lot better hi 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 Okay, finally done. Let's see if it works. One, two, three. No match. No match. All right. A lot of people are complaining that I was using, uh, I, I, you're supposed to just press it once and let go. Wow, this is a lot faster. So, wow. Actually, it's a lot faster than my 10 plus. Wow, it's instant. So I'm, thinking the version, maybe the software I have on it is not as good because the 10, 10 plus takes forever. See that? See, see the delay? This is what I'm talking about. This is, oh wow, now 
Let's. There's some kind of weird lag. This is the the unlock US version. This is a lot faster. Wow. So I think the version I have, the software on the unlock version, maybe it's a lot slower. This is way faster. As, as long as I get it right. Oh. Yeah. It's way faster. Wow. So it's a good thing I ordered um, the Galaxy S10, the Exynos version. I think the Exynos versions might be a lot faster. Um, because I, I've seen videos where people can unlock it. I could not do it on my 10 Plus. I did everything, but... Wow, just off the bat, it's way faster. Anyway guys, my green Galaxy S10 is here. I'm gonna obviously go and root it, the first thing I'm gonna do. Um, there's probably a seven day jail. Let me go ahead and find out about phone, software information, build number. All right, so I got developer options. OEM unlock? No, 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 I'm gonna have to wait seven days. I do also like that there's only one camera the biggest complaint I have with the uh, 10 Plus, every time I do notifications, I'll just literally swipe over the second camera here. Now, there's a shortcut to just do it here, but the problem is that I'm so used to just doing this over it, I'm still just doing it, even if with the shortcut, you know, I forget it. I think with the S10, I won't have uh, such a problem. I'll be swiping right over there, yeah, so that's another thing I really like. I think the S10 is a much better deal in my opinion because you don't absolutely need the second camera the depth camera is sort of great to have but like i said i'm not taking a ton of portrait photos all day it's sort of useless i'd rather have a wide angle um but this one does have all the three cameras on the back which is very nice if you want to go cheaper you can get the 10e which i think only has two cameras so you're missing out on the camera so in terms of value i think this is the best value i'm also more practical with one camera so i won't swipe over also, the fingerprint sensor is much faster. I'm not sure if the Exynos or a Qualcomm thing, but when it does work, it's way faster. It's just literally instant. Wow, that's amazing. Anyway, I'll have a root tutorial, guys, coming soon. Um, really like the colors on the back, obviously. Of course, it's a fingerprint magnet. You can see how much fingerprint sensor is. It's not really practical. I'll put a case on it anyway. Cruiser Light is selling cases again. You know, you know Joel, the founder, he passed away last year, oh, my, my good friend. His wife, Renee, is bringing the brand back. So if you guys want to help out, definitely grab one of these cases. Very nice cases. Let's go ahead and put it on. And boom, shakalaka. All right, my phone protected nicely. I can still see a little bit of green. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to purchase this, I'll put a link in the description also, along with the link to the seller where I bought this. If you want to get a best deal on eBay, a trustworthy seller. Um, if you want the Exynos model, the price literally drops every week, which is a nice thing. If you get the Exynos model, if you're going to pay for it in full, you're going to get the best deal on it anyway. All right. It'll work on at and T-Mobile, which is very good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a great day. And as always, stay <laughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe. To subscribe. To subscribe. To subscribe. To subscribe. To subscribe, 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 to subscribe.